Today, we're going to take a look at some other tricky subjects with subject verb agreement. So, if you're looking at your notes, um, we're going to take these words of all, some, none, and most. And unlike the words we learned yesterday, words like each and every, which are always singular, these ones are tricky because they are both singular and plural. So, that's what makes them a little different and a little more challenging because we have to recognize these four words have different rules to them. All right? So, I know, French Prince, <laughs> seriously. All right, let's talk about what this means to us then. So this is the only time that you have to consider the interrupting prepositional phrase. Usually I would tell you to ignore the prep phrase. It's a trap, but this is the time where you have to consider the interrupting prep phrase to determine whether these words are singular or plural. So if I said all the marching band members are tired from band camp, we get to use the word are, because even though the subject is all, I can't tell whether all is singular or plural unless I consider the prep phrase, which says members. And because the word members is plural, that makes the word all plural, and therefore I choose the plural verb. If I say all the marching band is bored with the same old routines, I get to use the verb is, which is singular. Because even though the subject is the word all, in the prep phrase band is singular. And the singular word band makes all singular, and therefore my verb is singular. But be careful not to confuse us with what we've already learned. So I said each of the jugs of milk for the party was or were outdated and chunky. Or if I said most of the jugs of milk for the party was or were empty or leaking. Well, the first one gets a was. Because even though it has jugs of milk, just like the second sentence, the subject is the word each. And each is always singular. So even though it says jugs, no one cares. The word each is singular, so I have to choose a singular verb. In the second one, I get to use the verb were, which is plural, because once again, it has jugs of milk and it has the word most, and most is both singular and plural. So I have to look at the prep phrase on the second sentence, but I need to ignore the prep phrase on the first sentence. That's all. So see what you can do to practice those, and then go on to the third worksheet and kind of put all of these subject verb agreement rules to practice.